Dennis Kachume Matai. I'm an artist or musician if uh, you like. Uh, in my genius as an artist, I've found myself working with uh, amazing artists like uh, jazz legends like Dorothy Masuka. I've played for Judith Sipuma. I've, I've also worked in the uh, Africans music scene where I've worked with Louis Breads, uh, Elvis Blue and the likes. And I've worked with uh, other like gospel artists like Dr. Doomy, I've played for him. And uh, I've played for Louis Obala and yeah, the list goes on. Like our South African legends like Vicky Samson and our international mus musicians like uh, Nianel and the likes. So I've worked with, the list is quite long. So by the end of this video, I'm telling you, you'll be inspired to see that you also can do it. You can be great, you know, you can be anything you want to be, you know. You don't let anything get you down. I've been through quite hectic stuff, but I'm here and I've made it. And I've made it big in my industry. So this video is not just intended for musicians only, just because I'm a musician. No, it's intended for each and everyone in the entertainment industry. You know, we all go through the same challenges in this industry. We might be doing different roles, but the challenges are quite similar. My journey as an artist, it actually began uh, a while back uh, when I was still uh, staying in Limpopo. That's when I learned uh, how to play a keyboard. That's when I started. Uh, back then, uh, I think even now, it's rare to, in, in the place where I'm from in Limpopo, it's rare to find uh, a place where they teach music, you know, to, to, to youngsters. It was very rare. The only place you could learn how to play an instrument was church. Yes, it was church because churches were the only places where they had access to, to musical instruments. Fast forwarding varsity, I went to varsity, I continued to do the same thing. So my, my first uh, big break actually, it also happened when I was playing in this uh, varsity organization called a CF, yes. There was this uh, great man of God who uh, is now my spiritual father. Uh, back then he was leading a choir. And then he invited this artist who was uh, from Jia Celebration. And in that time, everybody loved Jia Celebration. So that's when my journey began. I, I, I continued from there. Uh, eventually I, I, I met Loiso also. I was playing at church. That's when he found me playing at church. I played for him a couple of places around Cape Town. And then from there, uh, there was an organization which saw me playing, it was New Light. They also saw me playing, actually they saw me playing for you, for Loiso. Uh, and then they decided to sign me up. So that's when now my, my world just, you know, just expanded in this industry. And uh, I got to meet a lot of great artists, to work with a lot of great artists artists doing that just to name a few if i can just name a few artists i, I worked with i already mentioned that i, I, I worked with jill sipuma louis burris dr jimmy vicky samson i also uh did a project where i was playing with uh the great beckham tetra great bassist most musicians know him definitely lunga Longo, great organist like he's deep man mark hayes like he's a rock star like i did rock as well uh, Lisa Bala, I mentioned it. Now, now I did mention it. Swingless Veko, she's a gospel artist. I worked with her. Uh, I did also a project for Mr. V. Sholo and Mabungi Tusi. Uh, I, I played for Mahalia Bukanan. I, I played for Charisma. Played for Noah Tembu Mabeka. I played for Solima Shangu. Like, the list goes on. But all those things didn't just happen. It was not like it was a smooth ride. You know, all the way from the beginning. No, it wasn't. I mean, I was at a point where, because I loved this music too much, I was too much into the music scene that my studies fell apart at some point where I got excluded. Imagine, I got excluded by by university. I can mention a lot of 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 things that that went wrong in 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 my journey as a musician, and then how I bounced back. You know, because because that's the important thing. You always have to bounce back. You can't just chill and say no i'm done in this industry no 
the industry will throw a lot of things. I mean, I worked, I did lots of projects where I was not paid anything. You know what I'm saying? I did it voluntarily for free because I needed to get that exposure. Some Sometimes it was not about me wanting the exposure. It was because I would be robbed, you know, when I'm supposed to get paid and the people don't pay me. People are not just going to come after you. They have to see you doing something first and then they can... They, they can like you, then they can book you, things like that. You, you don't just take your CV somewhere and then expect people to, to book you. So with me, I was always in the scene. I was always playing. This does this organization, Sounds of the Nation. Uh, they found me in Cape Town and they were so interested in me to a point where they, they invited me to the U.S. to come uh, play in the US. I was very excited about the opportunity they, because they gathered a team together like in Cape Town to say, okay, this team will, will be the one that goes to 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 the US to play there, you know, in a couple of places. We were all excited. But guess what? Of all those people, I was the only one who didn't get a visa. I was denied visa. Well, why? Obviously, I don't know. But I was denied visa. So imagine the whole team going except me. That was like a big blow. But I didn't let that thing stop me. No, 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 no. I didn't let anything stop me. I continued. I continued with this journey. So what, what I can say is during this time, like as the country's in lockdown and all that, please don't, don't, don't just stay at home and do nothing. Practice your lines. Practice, practice, and practice. And you'll see by the time you the, the lockdown ends you you'll be far and for those who have gear their own gear at home it's time now to actually work on new material work on stuff i mean you have the gear at home do something don't just sit you know there's a lot of opportunities that the government is giving to people use those opportunities as well you know apply don't just sit and and wait for somebody to call you you know apply 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 so my advice to you is that you know, don't let lockdown get you down. Don't let this pandemic get you down. Focus on what you've always wanted to do. You know, focus on it and pursue it. Every opportunity that comes, grab it. Don't just sit and wait for opportunities. Go create your own opportunities as well. That's what I did. I created a lot of my own opportunities, you know. Success in this industry is not necessarily based on uh, whether you're special or, or, or what. Like success is actually for everybody. If you have determination and you are, you are willing to put in the work that's necessary and you are also able to to, to, know, to take disappointments, you know, because this, this, this line of industry comes with a lot of things, you know, that one has to endure in order to be successful. But do stay at home, stay safe, you know. When you go out, please, care for 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 the for others as well by putting on a mask you know yeah don't just be be careless put on a mask it will it will help you a great deal and then just follow all all these uh guidelines that our government has given us in terms of how to to fight this pandemic this covid 19 you know we, we all have a role to play and i i pray that you play your role as well and play it well